Hello, my name is Claire and I'm the founder of Student RDH. Let's see how you can use the website now. First, log in. You will be able to see in the dashboard all the progress that you have made for every single chapter. You do that by clicking on the left arrow that is on the left side. Here, for example, you can see Head and Neck Anatomy, you have completed 22%. And for the first quiz, you scored 2.5%. Let's say you want to study now. You can either choose your chapter by clicking on the title right here on the dashboard, or you can also go to the main tab for the course you are registered for and find the chapter you would like to study. Let's say you would like to study oral pathology today. Inside, you will be able to see all the topics that you would like to tackle. In green are the ones that you have checked as your strength, and in gray, or those that do not have check marks are the topic that you should actually study. Let's see, for example, the tumors. You go into the topic, you read all about this, you try to memorize as much as you can, and at the very end, you see this button that says, I know this. When you select it, you will have the green check mark. Or not, you can just keep going to the next lesson or the previous lesson. Now, let's see how you can study for your quizzes. The quizzes are located right below the topics. Let's start the quiz set one. Here, just answer your question and click on this button that says check. You will be able to see the reasoning for why you are correct and why you are incorrect. And we try to put a lot of effort into trying to explain answer choices A, B, C, D, and E. So please take the time to review all that. At the end, you will be able to see the quiz summary and when you submit the quiz, you will be able to see your score and your peer score, whoever took the same quiz, and that is the average. This way you are able to measure yourself a little better. Now, let's say you want to go to the mock exam. The mock exam are located at the very end of the entire course. Let's skip session one and go straight to session two. This is the format of the NVDHE. You have 150 questions in four hours. See over here, you have a four hour countdown timer at the very top. And you can see the tabs you have to navigate through in order to answer each question. From here, you will be able to submit again your answers. In green are the questions that you have answered and why the questions that you have not answered. And when you submit your quiz again, you will be able to see your score, in the national average. And the final place again to always come back is the dashboard because you can see all your progress at once and assess your strength and your weakness. The goal is to get 100% in the course and also the quizzes. And when you log out, all the data is saved all the time. And when you log back in using your computer, your tablet, or your phone, you will be able to just continue from the point you left off. Please email me anytime at clairej at studentrdh.com. Thank you.